Hey guys, this is Chef from Omega. Integrating a heat flux sensor into a remote monitoring system just got a whole lot simpler with the Layer N SP016 Heat Flux Smart Pro from Omega. And to show you just how simple it is, we're gonna set one up right here for you. So stick around. Thermal conductivity or heat flux is the transfer of thermal energy from one object to another with a standard unit of measurement for heat flux being watts per square meter. But don't expect to wire up a heat flux sensor and just start reading watts per square meter right out the gate. There are a bunch of calculations you'll need to make in order to get from your sensor's DC voltage output to the desired unit of measure of watts per square meter. But the good news is, the layer in Heat Flux Smart Probe does all the calculations for you. So you can hook it up to our system and get reading and recording watts per square meter in no time. So let's jump right in. For this demonstration, we'll need an M12 four pin screw terminal adapter, a USB smart interface cable, and here's our heat flux sensor, an Omega model HFS5, a Windows laptop logged into an Omega cloud account and running sync configuration software. And of course, our layer end SP016 heat flux smart probe. And rounding out our system is the layer end gateway that's been registered and logged into our Omega cloud account. First, let's connect our M12 adapter to our heat flux sensor. You'll need to refer to your sensor spec sheet to determine the correct outputs and follow the wiring diagram found in the SP016 Quick Start Guide. So pin 1 goes to the negative thermocouple output, pin 2 is the positive thermopile output, pin 3 is the negative thermopile output, and pin 4 goes to the positive thermocouple output. Now we can connect our heat flux sensor to the 4-pin M12 connector on the SP016 Smart Probe. And we'll run the USB interface from the Smart Probe to our Windows laptop with our Sync software already up and running. Once the SP016 is connected to the computer, Sync will automatically detect it and start displaying temperature readings. And if we click on the input configuration tab and choose the heat flux sensor input type, we can configure our system using the parameters found in your heat flux sensor's data sheet. Now that we've configured our heat flux sensor, I'll unplug the USB interface from the laptop and plug it into our layer and gateway. Now if we log into our Omega Cloud account, we can see the heat flux sensor's readings here. And as with all the smart sensing devices in the layer and ecosystem, we can aggregate our data just about any way we choose. So there you have it. We've hooked up and configured our heat flux sensor, and now we're up and running, and I didn't even need to bust out the calculator. If you want to know more about Omega's Layer Ren smart sensing ecosystem, call or chat online at omega.com. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe.